right, hello OAS family. Uh, we are here with a special treat today. We have a mother-son collaboration video and we are going to show you how you can do a simple Zen-like stroke and add some details to it to make a dragon painting. So it's very exciting. Uh, we are gonna be using uh, the Biff brush and the flow brush. So we're using the Biff brush to do the Zen stroke. Uh, so this is kind of a follow up to the last video that we did where we had some customers asking us some questions about the Biff brush and what other uses that we could find for the Biff brush other than doing the bamboo trunk, which it is awesome for. So if you don't have a Biff brush to use for bamboo trunks, uh, your life is not complete yet. So make sure you grab one of these Biff brushes. But um, we've done a couple of these already, so I wanna show them to you. These uh, were done with our OAS uh, practice roll. So you can see this was done more on raw paper. Uh, you can see that we have uh, different moisture qualities because the paper doesn't have any sizing on it. And then here's another one that we did on the same type of paper. Okay. And then third one. Okay. But the one that we're actually going to do right now for the demonstration is more, is going to be more like this one. Okay, so this is on semi-sized Schwen paper. It's a brand new paper for us. We've never had a semi-sized Schwen paper before. And uh, you'll see that this paper is more forgiving with moisture uh, than a raw Schwen paper. And it allows you to kind of manipulate the strokes a little bit after application. So we like them for paintings that have a little bit more detail work like this because we just don't have to worry about things running as much. All right, so... Why don't you guys uh, follow me and we will get set up and I will do the first stroke, this Zen-like uh, curve stroke, and then my mom will follow up and do the details for the dragon. So I'm here taking the Biff brush. I'm gonna load up some diluted ink. And then I'm gonna get some pure ink along one edge so I get some variation in the stroke. And so when I'm doing a stroke like this, I want energy and I want decisiveness, but I don't want to rush. All right, so we're gonna just go ahead and do this and see how it turns out. All right, so that's that's that. You can see we got some variety. The Biff brush uh, did a very good job at keeping a very consistent uh, width, uh, which is nice. And we got some tonal variety, so that is uh, a good, interesting base stroke to start from. And then I'll have my mother come in and add the details to it uh, to make a dragon. All right, I'm going to use majority time with the uh, flow brush. And then a detail brush. So I started loading a little bit lighter ink. Started with the nose. This is a semi sized shem paper, so it doesn't run, so I can get the detail of the face much easier, say, than the unsized paper, what we usually do. So now the mouse is forming. And then I'm um, going to start with the finish at the top. So I'm by now I'm thinking already about the eye. And um, with the dark ink, I'm 
go to the top of the nose and then the horn. And then finished up with where I'm going to leave the eyes. And then That's my eye. And then I'm going to use a detail brush, make some teeth for this dragon. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little ton. So any kind of red paint you have it available. I have the small companion set here. So I'm going to do with the ton. Going to do the tails while let the top dry up. And I'm going to do a little lake here. Just Suggestion. And then a little scale on the top. So this is it. Hope you have fun with the, our dragon demonstration. Try it. Use, I suggest you to use semi size Sean. And uh, because it's already have some sizing on it, you can see that I can do the control of the moisture and much easier. And, uh, um, But then I can still melting a little bit of the stroke from whatever did the body. And have fun. It's a very fun project. You can do it with one of your family member or do it on your own. And let us know. Send us a comment or email to see how do you like the project. And uh, if we can do more in the future, something similar like this and uh, we'll be happy to search some subject. Bye! -bye.